Uh, my dad thinks it's just stupid and does think it's real sport. But to be honest, in the past year, he has been like, you know, I'm proud of your son. You know, he's all because he knows I want to be a fireman. And he, I want to join the fire service, and he's like, he sees the training I do, he sees the conditioning I do, he knows all the other activities I do, and he's like, I'm very proud of your son for taking, you know, this some this is something you're serious about, and you're taking it as far as you want to go. And uh, he's very proud of me for taking it into movies and you know the sponsorships and. Uh, my mum at the start was heart was in her throat when I showed her video she was like oh my god no I can't believe what you're doing my little boy but I am the child I'm the baby so she will always be afraid but she um, she, she thinks again she, she's like you know I'm very proud of you for being assertive somebody you know you just you love it you keep at it you didn't just take a wee phase you're actually training for it you do you do seem to care about it but um, I get a lot of people like especially old friends that I don't really see anymore and they're like oh you're another guy what's this oh go and buy a football what are you doing you know so, you know, there's a lot of people like that. A lot of people don't even see it as a real thing. You get so many narrow-minded people that are like, oh, parkour's not even a real sport. You're just a bunch of headers jumping off a wall. And they don't see it for what it really is. But, um, no, my, my family's actually behind me, you know. Like, my, even my brother tells people, you know, like, oh, my son, or my son. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, and you know, is very good at it. And, you know, and a lot of people respect him for it. And, you know, I, I love to see him do it now. And he tells people about me being in movies and all. And, and it's nice, you know, because, like, my brother's one of my best friends. And, and it's just nice to know that somebody sees that and... Your own family sees that, you know, it's, it's not just, you know, always my son to have to tell him it's good, you know, <laughs> well, well done, Gary, you know, they actually do genuinely seem to love it, and even my sister and all, you know, is all about, she, she, like, she just thinks it's funny, she's like, oh, parkour's funny, your long hair's funny, go, go and get real clothes and a real haircut, and, and, but she actually tells everyone about it, and she basically has all her friends watching videos, and they're like, oh my god, this is brilliant, you know, and they can't, you know, they can't believe somebody in Belfast does this, because they're automatically assuming they see stuff like that. You know, it's stuff you see in Hollywood blockbuster movies. It's, it's sort of like being, you know, the underdog local hero or something. And friends I have from all around Belfast, uh, Chris, Gareth, Tiernan, Adam, just to name a few, you know, Carl, they, they all get the exact same thing. They all get, you know, they all get the exact same thing where they live, you know, like, oh my God, you know, you're like some sort of Hollywood stuntman, superhero, but you live here, you know, and that it's, because Belfast has never had anything spectacular, you know, Belfast isn't known for, you know, amazing culture or amazing media production or movies coming from it or anything spectacular coming from it just it's infamous for its troubles and struggles and strife so when something like this comes along it's you know it's very rewarding you know, to the people the people of Belfast are like you know this is pretty cool what you're doing and yep it's very surprising how many people give it a positive review so it's very surprising how many give it a negative review 